What's up guys, Tonton is back and today I'm proudly to be the first reviewer, the Transformer reviewer to actually review another Transformer Wolf of Cybertron Kingdom figures. Here we, here we have today is the Deluxe Class Cheater, which is the modern tech of the old Beast War. Now let's begin. Judging from this alternate beast mode, I must say that Takara and Hasbro has done a really great job again with this new line of Transformer. They took the element of the old but then bring it up to a new modern design and modern mechanism. And I must say, from this angle here, this might look even better than the Masterpiece version. But of course, I'm gonna bring in the Masterpiece version later for you to compare for yourself. And without the cheater, the cheater head is look exceptionally, exceptionally good. As you can see here, I have loved all this all details looking and then I really appreciate the normal aesthetic of what an actually cheater looks like in real world. And I just love that they kept the eye color orange for the sake of simplicity because I don't like the eyes of the masterpiece version, but that comes on later. And then again, if you look closely, you can open up his mouth here and there's actual teeth and that is really impressive details. And the ear as well, as you can see, look at all this detail up on the ears. And other than that, if you look at the leg, the front leg over here, I'm gonna bring in at this point I'm gonna bring in the masterpiece version here we go and comparing the two legs as you can see here uh, they look quite similar even though this is a simplified and cheaper version and the articulation is way better so I'm gonna show you so I'm gonna put this to the leg front leg actually actually can be widespread like that and you know which the masterpiece version can't and then of course this is way better for posing and much more better for dynamic posing as well. And then what else we got? Of course, it's the furry texture. Still the same furry texture as we have seen with the core, core rat trap. But then again, this is a light yellow with a lot of spot on it. Clearly, this is a cheetah. He looks beautiful and I absolutely adore this design of him. Really nice looking design. And of course, the tail as well. The tail is also the highlight because this is... They sacrifice the joint of the tail for what? For a better aesthetic of the tail. For a better piece design, like a figures, not like a thing to actually play with. And so up on this, I highly appreciate the details that Hasbro has done. So the leg here has some problem. Is that the, still has some blue of the transformation. This is for the robot mode. And as you can see, clearly see the robot feet. But then if you bring masterpiece in, you can see this is nothing compared as you can see here, the Kingdom nails this way better than the Masterpiece version. Now comparing the Beast Mode with the two figures, as you can see, first is the head sculpt. The head sculpt of the Kingdom version looks much more realistic than the cartoonish design of the Beast War. And then of course it's the neck. The neck of the Masterpiece version looks kind of short and because of all, because of the hunch on the back, it's kind of look, the figures look dumb. But onto the Kingdom version is much more in scale and the better aesthetic, of course. And then, of course, we have the front leg. The front leg of the Kingdom version can actually do a lot of articulation other than the Beast War. And if you turn this two guy onto the back, you will see that the back section of the Masterpiece version look like a mess, but while comparing to the Kingdom version, it's much cleaner and better aesthetic. And I absolutely adore this as well. Now come to some size comparison with other figures. Here we have the Core Kingdom Rat Trap and then the Deluxe Siege Mirage. And now let's get to transformation. To begin with the transformation, first, take the tail out. This could be the weapon for later. And then you can bring down this leg section over here. And just need to bend this upward. And so it will reveal the little feet and bring it out. And repeat the same thing with the other side. Up till now you want to remove, open up this section over here to bring out the whole body. And that is done. And then you can start bringing the leg down. Personally I want to have them as clear as possible so I would do this. It's all positioned up to you anyway. And then you can remove this tab, take it out like this.
and then at this point you can bring out these arms over here and rotate the hands like that just like that and then here's the tricky part you can start you would want to bring this head out and then open up the mouth and if you look inside the mouth you see this hole over here with a tap in here so bring it down this on the Z connection and just tap it in like that and bring the head out and we are done finishing the transformation sequence which I could say is very satisfying and easy and fun to handle here we got a robot mode of Cheeto and I must say this is a fairly decent robot mode because it still keeps all the aspect from the design in which the movie masterpiece is the OG one at the moment but this brings a new vibe to Cheeto and I absolutely adore this new engineering and I hope that they will keep using this mode probably for Tigatron just changing a little bit here and there on the head section and then you get Tigatron as well but then again this is Cheeto and the color is still very sporting because the problem here is that at the Cheeto mode the beast mode you have that main color of yellow and here you got that light blue color and in my opinion this color suits me better than the masterpiece version because why now let's get to the details of the robot mode the first thing you want to look at at the robot mode could be the head scope and as you can see this is a brilliant head scope it shows the characters and it still keeps the colors but like I said this light blue makes the figures look more children friendly than the previous dark metallic blue of the masterpiece version and I have to say I absolutely adore this Maximo logos on, to, on top of his head that is a really nice and detailed piece and I absolutely adore that the face is painted and of course there is an orange eye as well and if you look closely up over here a little bit as you can see they use the actual Cheeto head instead of a fake one like the masterpiece and I enjoy this kind of detail because it brings depth to the figure at this robot mode here there are two things that I kind of dislike which will be the back cable if you turn him around as you can see this whole section here is kind of blocky and I kind of don't like that at this point because the thing is that the masterpiece has that as well but then again it is some kind of neater and it doesn't block the articulation of the arms and that is pretty much a bad thing to me but then other than that it still looks fine to me as well and the leg transformation if someone noticed here the legs might look kind of big but to me that is okay because I've got used to robot with small thighs and kind of got a bigger leg section over here so I, I still okay with this aesthetic so now I'm gonna bring in the masterpiece version for you to compare comparing the kingdom version up to the masterpiece version as you can see the shoulder of the kingdom version is kind of lanky and thus it make look more robot but with the masterpiece version it really look like the whole body is a single piece and like a, a um, biological beings more than a robot and other than that I have mentioned the back cables of the kingdom versions because the kingdom will block the articulation but with the beast war one as you can see here it kind of remove that out of the shoulders so as a result it looks clearer than the kingdom versions but other than that I still adore these two pieces they are great together and having them together is a really nice touch because we here we have the best Cheeto figure yet versus the modern take out of Cheeto I want to go into the comparison to make you understand a uh, better understand with about the kingdom Cheeto and so as you can see here the two Cheetah head is different while this is a fake head and we got the real cheetah head over here and so as I say the result is quite significant because while the masterpiece version looks like he's wearing a cheetah tank top the kingdom version is looks like actual robot that can transform and that is one hell of a difference other than that the paint the color tone is a major difference as well like I have mentioned a couple of times here in the masterpiece version we have a brighter and darker tones of color such, which, such as the yellow orange and the metallic blue but onto the kingdom this is a more pale colors and to me both of them are fine both of them are really good 
at the painting and sculpting no problems I just want to make a comparison between these two over here and of course you see the major difference the biggest difference will be the leg so I want to bring the leg up for you as you can see here while the masterpiece version go through a really complicated sequence of transforming the leg the kingdom version choose a more simplified direction and as a result the leg of the kingdom is look more puffy than a, a human aesthetic like the masterpiece but to me they looks great as well i especially like this detail of the kingdom where you can still see the cheetah skin and fur details but with the masterpiece you only see the metallic blue and the details printed on it so if you considering like the masterpiece is more of a mechanical looking beast machine than the kingdom then that's fine and to both of them looks perfect and one major difference will be the arms as well as you can see the arm guard of the kingdom version is more, much more simplified and as a result we don't then have that massive piece of shielding looks like thingy and i would say that i highly appreciate the efforts of simplify it so we got a better looking arm because uh, to be honest with you i have never been a fan of the masterpiece cheetah arms that is for sure and for some trivia if you don't know yet if you look at the head sculpt i'm going to turn into head sculpt and onto the sides for you as you can see the design is somewhat like a, a egyptian headpiece design as you can see it really look egyptian but the masterpiece version never shows that correctly but with the beast world version it comes with an accessories which i'm going to show you later and if you turn in them around as you can see there is the same issues with the leg over here but the kingdom version since is a smaller and so as you can see the legs is still the same but the kingdom versions you got a slicker backpack as for the masterpiece version it's a much big backpack and like the legs they put so i would have to highlight the credit for the kingdom versions for a really good looking leg transformation like this really satisfying and it is good like that now let's get to the accessories so as for accessories this cheetah only came with this weapon over here which is his tail i enjoy this really the clever way of using your own beast part to utilize your weapon so this weapon can be held by two ways so the first way is going to be holding by this over here like this and it's going to be like a whip and the second way will be turn it around and have it like this as some kind of side and like i said this really highlights the egyptian vibe the design up onto chiro because the funny thing is that this side is like he's some kind of egyptian god but then if you turn it around and have it hold like, hold like a whip it will look like a whip for the slave and that is a pretty dark part in human history and anyway i still enjoy this but then unfortunately since this is a completely new design and completely new backstory as well this cheetah doesn't came with any weapons that the previous masterpiece or any other cheetah figures came with so i think that is okay because this is a new direction of approaching the characters and other than that the siege line and the earthrise line has plenty of weapons so you can easily find any spare weapon for this guy to hold on that, that would be okay that would be easily fine and now let's get to the articulation articulation guard wise begin with the head movement you can look up really far and not too much of a down look his head can turn 360 but some way blocked because of all that that armor piece which is a shame the arms can move up and cannot move back because of this blocky thingy and it can br bring out the arms yeah because it has this really nice butterfly joint here just like gundams so as a result you get the full maximum rotation of the arms i re i enjoy this detail over here you got a bicep swivel and a bend of the elbow this is over 90 degrees a little bit and you got a swivel at the hand that is really nice and you got a waist swivel as well somewhat a little bit blocky and you can do the kick to the back but then it is blocked by this piece over here which is a shame and it can kick up to the front which is really nice the knee can bend 90 degrees and you got a thigh swivel and you got a split which is really good and this curve here can move up that is 
same as the masterpiece version over here and you got a pivot and some toe bend articulation wise this guy is really impressive i absolutely adore that they learned from one of the best articulated figures in the world which is gundam and bring it on, on the transformer because i truly enjoy posing this guy he got nice decent joint with superb articulation for this scale of the figures i absolutely enjoyed him and so what do you guys think of cheater i recommend highly recommend getting this guy when this guy got released this is a really money worthy figures and of course i'm gonna show you different kingdom figure as well but before that this will be the end for the video and be sure to like and subscribe my channel and follow my instagram and i have a discord group as well so feel free to join me and if you feel like you can help me out with the future figures feel free to buy me a coffee at this link in the description below so that will be it for today Tonton out